It is extremely important to continue to provide financial, humanitarian and military assistance to Ukraine, says the general communique following negotiations between U.S. President Joe Biden and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. The leaders coordinated on their country's ongoing steadfast support to Ukraine in the face of Russia's war of aggression. From the statement on the White House website. The United States and Germany lead in the amount of assistance provided to Ukraine since the beginning of the full-scale Russian invasion. Washington, according to the German Institute for World Economy in Kiel, has allocated about 44 billion euros for military support to Ukraine by the end of 2023, while Berlin has allocated about 6 billion euros. This in particular includes the supply of Leopard tanks, Irish tier defense installations and missiles for them. Line wird nicht as important as Germany's contribution is, it alone will not be enough to guarantee Ukraine's security in the long term. I therefore call on our allies in the European Union to also step up their efforts in favor of Ukraine. In any case, the arms deliveries for Ukraine planned by the majority of EU member states to date are too small. By the European Council, which will take place on February 1st, at the latest, we need as precise an overview as possible of what concrete contribution our European partners will make to support Ukraine this this year. Discussions continue in Berlin about the need to transfer terrorist long-range missiles to Ukraine. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is still against this. At the same time, the German opposition is in favor of transferring such missiles to Kuyo. This was studied by the head of the Christian Democratic Union of Germany, Friedrich Metz. We consider the situation in Ukraine increasingly critical. Taurus cruise missiles could make their contribution, in particular by destroying the land connection from Crimea to the Russian mainland, through which, as it is known, most of the supplies go for the Russian armed forces. Meanwhile, France will supply Ukraine with dozens of missiles and hundreds of bombs. This was stated by the president of the country, Emmanuel Macron. According to him, these deliveries will include approximately 40 scalp long-range cruise missiles. We also have developed production within the framework of the military economy, which will allow us to supply our Ukrainian partners with much more equipment. This is in particular the Caesar, which they are looking forward to and which they really need. All in all, we are going to contribute to help Ukraine with its training needs. We, French, and we Europeans will have to make new decisions in the coming weeks and months, precisely in order to prevent Russia from winning. Also, according to Emmanuel Macron, Paris closely collaborates with the UK and other European partners to finalize an agreement on security guarantees for Ukraine. Reported by Diana Kolasnik, Christina Dombrovska, UATV News.